Hey guys, I recently got a request to do a quick tutorial on Webpack, which is a module bundler. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to show you how to set Webpack up. Now, the reason you want to use Webpack is if you want to use modules, okay, for instance, JavaScript modules, we could say require and then some module, okay, whether it's a custom module or something you, um, you want to install using NPM. And then I'm also going to show you how we can use Babel along with Webpack to use ES2015 modules, which look like this. So import something from something. Okay, so that syntax. All right, so first thing we want to do is uh, let's create a folder for this small project. Okay, so I'm just going to call this my Webpack. And we're going to open up a command line. And the first thing you're going to want to do, well, let's go to that folder first. And we're going to want to install Webpack globally. So you, you will need Node.js and NPM. So just go to, if you don't have that, just go to nodejs.org, download it, and install it. And then you should be able to run npm install webpack and then add dash g, which will install it globally so that you can use it from anywhere. All right, so that's after that's done, we're going to create our project package.json file. You can do that with npm init. It's just going to ask a couple questions. We're going to keep the defaults for these. For the entry point, we'll use app.js and then enter for the rest. And that should have created a package.json file, which you can see right here. All right, now what we want to do is install Webpack locally. So we'll say npm install Webpack and let's say dash dash save dash dev. That's going to save it as a, a dev dependency. All right. And you should see that show up now in your package.json file. All right, now just to show you how this works real quick, I'm going to go ahead and create a new file called people.js. And let's see, we're going to say people or var people is going to be equal to an array and just put some names in here. All right, and then we want to export this as a module. So we'll say module dot exports equals people. OK, we'll save that. And now we're going to create another file called app dot JS. And we want that we want to bring that in as a module now. All right, so we can say people equals require and that's going to be dot slash people dot js and then all I want to do for now is just console log people all right so let's go ahead and save that now what we want to do is we want to run webpack and compile this JavaScript into a static asset so we should be able to say webpack um, dot slash app dot js and then we want it to go to compile to a file called app dot bundle dot js what happened here um, webpack app js what what did I do here? Oh, is it because I didn't use parentheses here, maybe? I mean, that's all I can see that would be wrong here. Module exports people. All right, let's try it again. All right, there we go. Okay, so that compiled, you can see that now there's a file called app.bundle.js, which looks like complete gibberish. 
All right, but now we should be able to run that by saying node app dot bundle dot js and there we go it prints out the array of people all right so that's how webpack works on a very basic level all right now if you're using it in your projects you're going to want to set it up a little differently okay so what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, a new folder called source or src and then also create a folder called dist all right the idea is that all of our source code will go in here that's the code that we we um, edit and, and add and then we can compile it into the dist folder all right so let's move people and app.js we're going to move those into source all right and then in order to do this we need to have a webpack config file so let's go ahead and add another file here and call it webpack.config.js all right so to set this up let me close that to set this up we're going to say module.exports and we need to provide uh, an entry point so the entry is going to be in the source folder app JS. Okay, that's the source file, and then we need to provide an output and provide a path, which is going to be dot slash dist, and then we also need a file name, which will be app dot bundle dot JS. All right, so let's go ahead and save that, and let's add something. We'll add another person here. We'll say John, save it, and let's get rid of the app.bundle that we already created in the root. We're going to delete that, and then when we run Webpack, it should create, it should compile it into the dist folder. All right, so all we have to do is run Webpack, and now you can see that the app.bundle is in the dist folder. And if we were to run that from here, we could say node source slash app dot bundle dot js actually it has to be node dot slash nope um, why isn't that working oh not source it's in the dist it's in the dist folder all right so now you can see that it's giving us the people and it has the new John at the end all right, so that takes care of it if you just want to use JavaScript modules, um, but you may want to use the ES2015 type modules, which which use the import. Uh, if you want to do that, then we need to set up Babel. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to install a couple things here. We're going to say npm install Babel core, and we also want to install the ES2015 preset. So that's babel dash preset dash es2015. And we're going to add this to our dev dependencies. All right, that's all set. Now we just want to install the babel loader. So npm install babel loader save dev okay now what we want to do is we need to set up that preset that ES 2015 preset so we're gonna go into our root folder here and just create a new file called Babel RC I'm sorry dot Babel RC all right and then we're just gonna set up presets which will be an array and we want to pass in ES 2015 save that and last thing we need to do to be able to use Babel is to go to our config file and we're just going to add on to this I'm going to add a module object and then say loaders 
actually no, that needs to be square brackets and then curly braces. All right, so let's say we want to make sure we exclude the node modules folder. Okay, and then let's say the loader we want to use is Babel loader. All right, so that should do it. Let's save that. And let's do let's install a couple modules to test it out. So we'll say npm install jQuery and let's also install Babel polyfill. Okay, we're going to add the save flag here. Okay, so now what we'll do is go to our source app.js and let's see import uh, Babel polyfill. We want to import the um, the people file. So import people from dot slash people. All right, and then we'll also import jQuery. Actually, we want to do import dollar sign from jQuery, which should be in quotes. Okay. So let's see, we'll save that. Uh, what's this? Okay, so that's saved. So let's go ahead and run Webpack, get that compiled. Oh, actually, no, we want to go back here because I want to add some jQuery. All right, so in here, we're going to put an H1, and we'll just say people. And then let's do dot append to the body. And let's create a constant called UL, and we'll set that to jQuery UL. And then we're going to say dot append to body. And then let's do a for loop to, to loop through the people. So we'll say for constant person of people. And then in here, we're going to use jQuery and say li and we want to add some text here and just pass in person and then we want to append to ul all right Whoop. save that and let's run webpack again all right and then the last thing we're going to do is just create an index html file Okay, and let's see. Let's just put in our HTML tags. I don't like how this how this editor indents. All right, so we need to include the script now. So script source. Okay, that's going to be in dot slash. Uh, what is it? We want the one in the dist folder. So dist slash app dot bundle dot js. All right, so let's go ahead and save it, and then we'll go and open that file up. Where is it? Right here, index, and let's bring it over. 
and there we go you can see it's reading the people from that people module all right so that's how you can set up webpack in your project so you can continue to install modules using npm and uh, just use them as you see fit just make sure you run webpack to get everything compiled all right so hopefully that kind of answers the person that requested this video uh, and hopefully all you guys um, learned something from it so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time